All right, folks, so we do have a breaking story about the guy who was flooded in the news. Uh, that is Mr. Elon Musk himself. There is now a, uh, basically what's happened is the friend of a flight attendant who had um, alleged that Elon Musk had actually cut back her hours as a flight attendant on his private flight because he, because she declined sexual advances from Elon Musk. Uh, she had won, or not won, but the company had paid her $250,000 for her to stay quiet. So it never actually went to court. Um, he made sure to pay her off so that it wouldn't get to court, you know. Um, how do we not know about this? You know, there were non-disclosure, non-disparagement agreements. I didn't even know a non-disparagement agreement was a thing, but I guess, you know, you learn something new every day or, or a lot. Um, and so there were a bunch of those signed. And so now her friend is coming out to break this news because she feels like it's a disservice to survivors of sexual assault, harassment, misconduct, etc. So this is really interesting. Um, but all, you know, he's been saying a lot of stuff recently where he's been insinuating that there's some kind of conspiracy against him from the Democrats where this kind of thing was going to happen. And I'll explain to you guys actually why he ended up doing that. Um, but I want to read you guys some of these details first. It says SpaceX, the aerospace firm founded by Elon Musk, the world's wealthiest man, paid a flight attendant 250 grand to settle a sexual misconduct claim <clears throat> against Musk in 2018. The attendant worked as a member of the cabin crew on a contract basis for SpaceX's corporate jet fleet. She accused Musk of exposing his erect penis to her, rubbing her leg without consent, and offering to buy her a horse in exchange for an erotic massage, according to interviews and documents obtained by the ins uh, Insider. The incident, which took place in 2016, is alleged in a declaration signed by a friend of the attendant and prepared in support of her claim. The details in the story are drawn from the declaration, as well as other documents, including email correspondence and other records shared with the insider by the friend. According to the declaration, the attendant confided to the friend that after taking the flight attendant job, she was encouraged to get licensed as a masseuse so that she could give Musk massages. That's very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Telling a flight attendant you should get your license as a masseuse to become a masseuse so you could give massages? That's very bizarre. It was during one such massage in a private cabin on M Musk's Gulfstream G650ER she told the friend that Musk propositioned her. Um, and here's where it gets really interesting. It says, after Insider contacted Musk for comment, he emailed to ask for more time to respond and said there is, quote, a lot more to this story. If I were inclined to engage in sexual harassment, this is unlikely to be the first time in my entire 30-year career that it comes to light, he wrote, calling the story a politically motivated hit piece. Insider extended the deadline and reiterated the offer to Musk to comment on his claims. He did not respond. So basically what this means is he got a heads up that this was going to drop. This is a typical thing that news outlets do when they're writing a piece. They'll reach out for comment to somebody who's involved with the piece. If it's a story about Elon Musk, they'll reach out for comments, see if he has any comments on the story itself. That is what they did. And uh, he didn't decide it. He just decided not to respond. He said, I want more time. He extended the deadline. Insider extended the deadline. They agreed. But he didn't actually give an offer to comment on the claims. Instead, what he's actually been doing is he on Twitter has actually been saying a bunch of stuff um, that's to attempt to get in front of it. So not only is there this tweet that's really, really indicative of this. But generally speaking, he's been really agitating a lot in terms of the Democrats and liberals lately when I just don't believe that Elon Musk is really seen as like this big Democratic enemy. He doesn't let his workers unionize. Um, and so that's why Biden won't mention him in like speeches and stuff. Um, but here's the tweet he sends out. He said, in the past, I voted Democrat because they were mostly the kindness party, but they have become the party of division and hate. So I can no longer support them and will vote Republican. Now, watch their dirty tricks campaign against me unfold. That was yesterday at 11.44 a.m. Uh, at this point, he already knew that the story was going to be dropping. And so you can see that he was actually getting ahead of this story by saying this. Watch their dirty tricks campaign against me unfold. And actually, Maple Cocaine on Twitter, don't know if you guys heard this Twitter account, I have, says there's a story coming out soon that he's trying to get ahead of. Hard to read this any other way. Wow, he was right. This guy was definitely, definitely right. He was trying to do that. 
and I guess this explains the agitation. I don't know how long the uh, the contact has been for. I don't know how long he's known that Insider was going to publish this, but he's definitely been uh, agitating a lot on Twitter against liberals and Democrats. Here's a funny tweet, too. He's like, he's sending out... This is, this is the craziest stuff I've seen. He's sending out memes about Twitter... <clears throat> on Twitter after bought like having a having supposedly bought Twitter but now the deal is on hold it's like this is just the most bizarre stuff I, I think I've ever seen um before um now obviously I don't know whether or not this uh action actually took place what we know for a fact is that Elon Musk paid out two fifty thousand dollars to her as a you know as a settlement uh to prevent it from going to court to prevent from all of that kind of stuff going on also, um, I don't know where I took the tweet. Here it is. Uh, Elon says, he said this back in 2021. He said, Tesla policy is never to give in to false claims, even if we would lose, and never to fight true claims, even if we would win. So this isn't a good look for him on this front, because obviously, uh, why would you give in by paying off this big settlement to the woman who is alleging, you know, sexual misconduct, sexual harassment, um, and, and, you know, borderline sexual assault, like very borderline, um, you know, why would you do that? Now, to be fair, he says your Tesla policy, this is SpaceX, they're separate things, they're not the same thing, so, you know, maybe SpaceX policy is different than Tesla policy, I'm not sure. I'm definitely not buying the argument of, you know, he's saying if I were inclined to engage in sexual harassment, this is unlikely to be the first time in my 30 year career that it comes to light. Uh, that's just not a good argument. I don't know why so much of even like the legal system, you know, uh, deciding whether or not someone's guilty of something heavily depends upon like their past actions. But just because you've never committed sexual harassment before doesn't mean that you wouldn't commit it now or that in this situation you didn't commit sexual harassment. It's a very bad argument that logically is just completely unsound. Um, obviously, people in power positions often misuse their power. Um uh, you know, women get obviously, uh, you know, harassed and things like that more, especially because men are, you know, the ones who are in power. Um, but I would say, you know, if women were more in power, you would see more, you know, misconduct done by women, maybe towards men even, right? So it's not a completely unbelievable thing that he did this. He's also a very weird guy. Um, so I don't know, um, what he's doing, but this, this allegation is basically that, uh, he exposed his erect penis. This reminds me of a lot of the situation with Deshaun Watson, by the way. Obviously, he has like 20 or 30 accusers. This is one. And, you know, this is, I guess, the only public Elon Musk um, allegation of, you know, sexual assault or misconduct or any of that. I mean, he's not, he's not uh, accused of sexual assault. I don't know what exactly you would call this. I guess at, at the very least harassment, like at the very least. But it's like, it seems like a weird thing where it's in between the two. But it doesn't meet, uh, it's too low, uh, sexual harassment is like too low, and then uh, sexual assault is too high. But it's, so it's somewhere in the middle of the two. It's really horrible that he um, has allegedly done this. Obviously, uh, I can't say that he has done this uh, because it hasn't been proven. Um, it's an allegation. But what, again, like I said, what we do know for a 100% fact is he paid $250,000 for this. Um, his argument doesn't really seem to make sense. Of, oh, if I were to do it now, I would have done it before. But that's not true. Just because you haven't done it in the past doesn't mean that you wouldn't do it now. That's just not legitimate. Um, even people who are of good character do bad things. So even that's not a really, like, valid argument. Um, but, you know, this is definitely something you commonly see in these kinds of positions. Especially when, you know, see men in power positions take advantage of people who are below them. Um, oftentimes taking advantage of women. This seems to be another example of that. Um, very, very creepy, very, very, you know, disgusting, you know, obviously unethical, immoral thing to do. Um, and so she, you know, filed the claim against uh, SpaceX because she was saying that after I turned down his sexual harassment um, advance and I said no, uh, I didn't, you know, my shifts got cut, cut back. And so, you know, that's, that's a common thing where, you know, there's lots of labor laws and stuff like that, where you can sue if you feel like you were, uh, unethically or, um, you know, illegally terminated and things like that. Um, you can sue. So that is the story. It's a very big story and, uh, looks like Elon has been trying to get ahead of this and possibly this is why 
who knows, maybe even with the Twitter situation, I, I have no idea. But I would love to know how long he's known that Insider was going to release this piece. And the t Twitter deal seems to be on hold right now. But man, this guy's just, I mean, everything around him is just a circus at this point. I mean, it's just crazy to see.